of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we are taking a look at a teaser trailer for something I know has been worked on for a while, but we haven't heard much until today, and that is the official teaser trailer for His Dark Materials. This is a new TV series coming out. Uh, for those who don't know, it's kind of in the vein of... I just thought of this film prior. Um, no, 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 no. The whole concept of, like... To, um, failing at the movie. Oh no, series of unfortunate events. It's like a series of unfortunate events where like they try with a movie, it didn't work, and then they made a series out of it. It's in mm -hmm. that vein. For those who don't know, and like you just hinted, alluded to, this is for those for American audiences. This is the Golden Compass. This was the this was this was um the material Golden Compass was based off of, and um and has a good cast to it. Um and the it has a basic premise. Um, oh, okay. Let me explain Golden Compass. Uh, the polar bear fight. So, um, anyways, that's the only thing a lot of people remember from that is the polar bear fight. Um, the story is about two children who embark on a quest through parallel universes. I've never read the book series. I've seen bits and pieces of the Golden Compass movie. What about you? Movie. Movie? You saw all? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know much. What did you think of the movie? That was alright. I mean, it, it, it's been a while since I've seen the movie overall, so it's really hard for me to say, but I just thought it was alright, because it was just at the time, it was during the time when you had a lot of films trying to get a lot off of, like, the, um, these uh, big-time books, pretty much, these, these books that, you know, a lot of, that were bestsellers, stuff like that, kids enjoyed reading, but to me it was just alright, because it was kind of hard when, you know... At the same time, Harry Potter was still in. The Harry Potter films were still Oh, yeah, cause, yeah, you're right, because during that time, there was that boom of trying to uh, make a Harry Potter franchise. It's all Golden. thing. Yeah, they had to try to have Aragon to fail, to try to series of unfortunate events, and it failed. They tried it with uh, Golden Compass, and it failed. And it failed, pretty much. And they had a great cast as well, you know, but it's still, it's, it's usually, like I said, it's usually not, uh, you, you could have a great cast, but it's all in how you could present it. How you can make it different from the others. How can you make it stand out than the others? Especially, you know, when you try to keep it in the same vein as the book, you know, and it's like, it, that's what you're dealing with. And perfect example is how just now they're starting to do the Artemis Fowl, uh, you know, movie. Because it's like, they, it feel, feels like they wanted to wait till that phase calmed down. So where now it's like the only big, really big thing is, is like the comic book movies. And I wish them the best to look for, okay, brief side tangent. I yeah. Agree. I do wish Artemis Fowl, Disney the best for Artemis Fowl. I, as of right now, just all, I, I've only seen the teaser. I know about the book series. I've read book series. It just seems like that's going, I don't think that's going to be successful in my opinion. Yeah. I, something tells me, is it something is film? telling me that like, that. Because it was another book that pretty much, uh, that it actually came out. At the exact same time as Harry Potter, but Harry Potter, they were both received very well. They both got phenomenal reviews for both the books series, um, but it's just that Harry Potter grew more popularity than Artemis Fowl did, even though Artemis Fowl had a great story yes. with it. So let's just dive right into. Yes, yeah, so get back right into this for the official teaser trailer for his Dark Materials. So here we go. Say star study. Yeah, her too. Cool. Game's back. Oh shit. Yeah, he's in it too. Look at that got me interested. Guess from what I've read about this book series, oh, there's the compass. So this oh. is a, this was like a sequel series. After no, the this of? is the series. Oh, so this is actually what's actually based. Why do you think I brought up a series of unfortunate events at the beginning? Ah, uh, okay. Now I get. I'm sorry. It's, it's retrying. So, it's retrying. It's like what series of unfortunate events it, it's, series it's, it's, did. It's trying from the beginning. It's it, they the BBC. They've realized pretty much. They looked at a series of unfortunate events and looked at it going. The movie didn't do so well, but look how successful the series turned out to be. You know, so that's what they're trying to... I see what you're trying to yeah. say. That's what they're trying to do here. It's like, yeah. let's do it, but let's do it more closely yeah. to the book. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the Star City cast. I, 
Lemore, I don't. Uh, this is not a musical, so it's gonna be interesting to see him. Like yeah. every movie I've seen him in, uh, no, I mean, I've seen him in every trailer to a movie I've seen him in or something like that. It's always some musical aspiration. Yeah, so it's gonna be it. interesting to see him as a full on, just a full on actor himself, yeah. you know, portraying. And of course, like you always saw at the end, they tease the titular Golden Compass. The which, gold, Golden Compass. So this is more like as close as you're gonna get to the book as a series. So I would say, like with everybody's done with our series for events video. L correct us on some stuff. Let us know about the book series. I would be. I'm curious to see where it is because, like I said, all I know about it is the polar bear fight. That's the only scene I remember from the original. That's movie. the only thing that really stood out though. Film was the whole polar bear overall itself. So how they're gonna interpret that here is gonna be very interesting. I wouldn't mind seeing how that yeah, gonna turn out. Like, but like the, another difference I can say is like Golden Compass looked like more of a visual spectacle. Like obviously. This one does not look exactly the same. Mm -mm. This one definitely looks like this has this, more. A, what I, the tone's been dialed down a bit. What I like is that if you yeah you look at the movie, the movie's all bright, all colorful, everything. Here you look at this, even the teaser, you see that it's like it's more of a serious tone. It's more the tone has been darkened a bit more, but it's like it's trying to, like what a series of fortunate events did, it's trying to get as much as it can from the book. But put it into the series. That's what they're trying to do. Yeah. And I can't wait to hear or see the first official full on trailer for this. Um, who knows? Depending on how everything goes, is depending on the reviews for it. Maybe we we are not a hundred percent sure, but maybe it'd be a part of our SRB TV for another sh another series that we may watch. It's based, you know, that was like a series of unfortunate events. Which honestly, this from the, this from this one tease. Color me interested. Oh, yeah, you can, you can easily call stuff like this second chance a adaptation. Adaptation. This so is a second, second chance. No, second chance adaptation. adaptation. As I said, second chance adaptation, yeah. pretty much. And this is, you know, they're learning from it. They're realizing, you know, because you never know. This may be the start of, instead of doing a, a full-on book, starting off as a movie, let's just start off as a series instead and take it from there. Because you never know what it may kick off or it may launch, especially for... Maybe some of the bigger networks like Fox, NBC, I mean, CBS, anything who knows? like that. Maybe Aragon will probably get get a uh, second chance adaptation down the road. Who, who knows? knows? Maybe HBO, Showtime, one of those ones will maybe grab it and turn it into something as a series. I mean, shit, we're getting Bill and Ted Three. I mean, exactly. Possible. So, so it's just, yeah, yeah, exactly. So other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. Mm -hmm. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, please do comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us. Just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to considering watching another book adaptation series. Mm -hmm. Hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this brief teaser of what you saw for that quick moment, especially if this is your first time seeing it or even hearing about this. Um, if you've read pretty much uh, The Golden Compass, stuff like that, what do you guys take on this? Do you think it will do successful just as a, as a series of unfortunate events did, did? And for those... Those great, pretty much, viewers who enjoyed our reactions for a series of unfortunate events. Was this another book that you have read, that you enjoyed, that you wouldn't mind seeing uh, yourself? Or am I checking it out? Or you might us checking out when it does come out? Um, or are you just going to wait till the first official trailer to get a final full look at, at what, what to expect from this series? Let us know in the comments below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, we thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm Christopher. And this has been a very... Ooh, second chance adaptation filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter. As well as Stardust. At Super React Bros.